Coach, good to see you, man. Hey, what's up, Coach? How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Second day of uh, school. How are you doing? I'm doing well. It's not the normal gym that I'm used to, but here we are. We're, we're doing pretty good. That's right. That's right. Hey, got a couple questions for you. Wanted to catch up. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I was thinking, I was sitting there thinking, I've talked to a number of teachers, you know, classroom teachers, and it's the, the conversation has been about taking what we normally do in the classroom and transitioning it to online. There are challenges that come along with that. Um, those teachers have all been, you know, lead teacher, classroom teachers. So I started thinking, you know, yesterday, well, gosh, what does that look like for specials? And, you know, that's when I reached out and, uh, you know, today to say, hey, let's let's have a chat. So um, sure. so let's start off with kind of like think about, you know, what's it been like to transition sports, something that's, you know, we're out there on the field every day. What's it like to transition to sports to an online environment? Well, you know, all too well, being a coach, it's a, a relationship business with your players. You want to be able to see them and that kind of thing. But my approach and our approach as an athletic department is that so far we've done some pre-recorded videos and specifically challenges that they can do and post about their score, which keeps them all pumped up and excited. And then even today I posted more sports specific drills for them to do. So kind of keeping it mixed up a little bit. Coach, what's, um, the, start, what's an okay. example of that? Um, oh, one of the recordings? Well, yeah, the first one that we did was the jumping jack challenge. So basically you put one minute on the clock. I had them do it three times. So three minutes of activity. And let me tell you, I did it and I was wore out. <laughs> so, um, what happens is every three jumping jacks you do, you get to do two bottle flips. If you ever have the water bottle and you see the kids flipping it, you know, they love to do that. Some of the teachers don't like it so much, but in a sports setting, I thought it'd be fun. Um, and anyways, they post a score. Every time they land a water bottle, they get a point. So gets them doing jumping jacks real quick and then being able to score. So that was our first little challenge. I think they really enjoyed it. And then to approach the business side where, you know, want to see the kids and that kind of thing, we had the idea of doing small group lunches. And actually Friday, I began with the eighth graders. I thought that would be fitting. And I sent out a Google Hangout to five of my eighth graders just to start. So we're going to meet on Friday for a lunch, you know, have a sandwich, hang out with some of the players. And I really think that'll be good to see how they're doing. And the last thing I want to talk about about that is that will give me some of their ideas. We value their input. You know this all too well, that they have great ideas, man. These kids are really on it. So I'm going to talk to them and see things that we can do even better and what they have in mind. And because we do value what they what they want to do. So I think Friday we'll begin that. That's already planned. I'm really excited. Cool, Coach. What, um, what's, you know, what's the biggest challenge for you right now with, you know, making this transition? Uh, no face-to-face -face contact. That's number one. Uh, I can't read their body language. And I really respond off that. You know, I know the right things that maybe they need to hear, pump them up a little bit you know, maybe they're having a tough day. It's hard for me to see that. So that's my number one challenge. Um, I'm hoping that these videos, uh, video lunches are going to really help. And then also um, Mr. Holgate and I had a had an idea together about maybe be doing some um, uh, live lessons where I'll do some fun dances. And even the older kids like this kind of stuff. So you know, that way they can see me. And I'll tell you why, I'm, that's why I'm running every morning because I'm gonna have to get in shape for these live dances where they go. But that's a work in progress, but something that we got on the docket because the con the face-to-face -face contact is the number one challenge. And that's just my opinion, but it's tough. You know, really, awesome. I really feed off the kids' energy and hopefully they feed off mine. So we'll, we'll do the best we can with what we got. That's awesome. Have you, have you had a big win yet? You know, in sports, um, you know, as coaches, as coaches, we're, you know, wins and losses, but always yeah, looking, win. always looking for the win. Well, the response from the jumping jack challenge was good. A lot of kids did it, and they posted their score. Uh, bad thing is for me is they smoked me. They uh, destroyed my <laughs> score. So, 
I'm going to have to um, get get prepared for the next challenge so I don't get beat so bad. But uh, that was a big win. I was really, really happy. Uh, on the lower school side, I'm getting uh, text messages from parents with uh, pictures of their kids doing the activities that I put online. Um, I saw some video. It's just really, it's really tremendous. So the fact that the parents are really buying in and the kids are excited. So I guess the biggest win is that they're buying in and doing it and really getting a response from them, which I enjoy. I like to know that they're having fun because we got to stay positive and have as much fun as we can. There's a lot of truth to that. Hey, so you, you just alluded to it briefly. Um, are there big differences with lower school versus upper school in how you're approaching sports? So there are, um, there are some big differences. I, you know, have, have a little bit more of a different relationship with the older kids. You know, you can talk to them about different things. They have different kind of issues than the little kids, but what's cool is it does overlap in a sense because the activities I plan for the little kids, I'm even going to post onto our sixth or eighth grade classroom because they, they love those games. I mean, I grew up, they, they grew up with me teaching them. Yeah. So they remember some of these uh, activities and things, and they even beg to play at practice when they're older. So it's kind of funny that it overlaps a little bit. So it is different in a sense of the way I have to speak on my video and that kind of thing. But as far as the activities, a lot of it overlaps, which is really fun. Cool, man. Kick out of it. Do you like what's the goal right now from a sports standpoint? My my goal, and I think as from the athletic department we meet each week, is activity, activity, activity. Get them moving. Get them finding things that they enjoy. We've um, tried to keep it simple, Coach. I mean, you know, the bells and whistles are awesome, and you know, we, we'll get more in depth as this goes on, but. We keep it simple, you know. We we got a hike across America going on with the upper school and the fourth and fifth graders. Well, ever everybody works together, so it's quite simple. You just log your steps each each day when you exercise. Cool. Um, and then you know we just put those little challenges out where they can have a measurable goal, so they can post on the classroom what their score was, and then kind of compete with each other. And I think I, I said earlier that they were beating me, so it's fun for me to go against them. And even though we're not together in person, we can still have that little daily challenge for each other. And I, I'm sure the other coaches will get involved in that soon. So it's, it's really, it's really cool. That's awesome. What, what kind of feedback have you received so far? Yeah. And I, I mentioned some of the feedback we got um, so far was a, a lot of the kids are commenting with their score, uh, things like that. I've gotten parents with emails of video of their kid doing these specific, specific activity that I designed for them. And then even the text message just came in an hour ago. It was a um, little first grader playing outside and really just, I love that I have that relationship with the, with the kids and they want to share with me, which is really cool. So yeah, I think that's, that's, that's good about stuff, that. man. That is good that's stuff. We're getting. And of course it'll continue to get better and better. We're keeping it simple. I think the parents are liking that. But, you know, we'll, we'll get creative, too, and have some fun. That's awesome. Any other, any other thoughts, big man? Man, I, I'm just I'm, – I'm making it as fun as possible. You know, want to keep the kids active. I'm, I'm really, really, you know, taking it in this week. So the first week, I, I have to say, has been a success, even though it's only Tuesday. So I would say so far so good, man. 